Okay, I have drawn a standard curtain wall. I'll show you what my settings are for it. So if I took, take a look at the type properties, you can see that I have set my layout to none. And the reason for this, it's the most flexible when I'm going to make you know, modifications for adding a door. It's not impossible to do it with it preset, it's just easier. Um, and when you're first starting out, I thought I'd keep this simple. I have predefined the mullions that I want to use, which means when I add my grids, it will automatically place these mullion styles in there. If this were going to be a storefront condition, you would want to make sure that you select automatically embed so that it would cut the opening in the wall for you already. So I'll go ahead and say OK. Now you can place your vertical grid lines from a plan or an elevation or section view, but you can only place the horizontal ones from a section or elevation view. So I thought I'd work in this view. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my grid lines. You cannot add a mullion without first having a grid. So I'm going to select curtain grid and that is on the home tab. And I'm going to assume that I want to have a single door centered on this wall. So I'm going to place one right in the center and you'll notice it automatically it just kind of sets there. So I'm going to pick to place it. If you know what you need to change this dimension to, you can do that from here. Um, I'm going to do it a different way for this example. So I'm going to assume I've got a three foot wide door opening, so clear opening. And then I need to also account for half the distance or half the width of my mullion. So my mullions are two and a half inches thick. So I need to add another inch and a quarter to half of that door opening. So 19 and a quarter inches is what I need to move this over. So you're going to need to tab. So hover until you see that mullion highlighted. Press your tab key until you see the grid line. And then don't move your mouse and left pick. And I'm just going to use my standard move command. So I'm going to pick a base point to move from, doesn't matter where, drag in the direction you want to go, and then key in the distance. So it was 19 and a quarter inches. If you do it this way, make sure you put your inch marks in there. Now I need a mullion on the other side, so I need another grid line and a mullion. You can do this by copying it over that distance or we can just mirror it. So in this example, it's still selected, so I'm going to use my mirror and draw the axis. When you're at the midpoint of the wall, you'll see a triangle shape. So pick when you see that shape, and then drag either straight up or straight down. So you'll want to verify that the opening size is correct. Now I'm going to add another mullion or another grid line running horizontally. So again, back to my curtain grid tool. And you'll want to hover towards one of the sides. Doesn't matter where. You'll notice if you hover towards the top, it's vertical. Towards the side, it's horizontal. You have some options under over here on the ribbon as far as where you want to place this. All segments, one segment, all except picked. I'm going to do all segments in this example. And sometimes it's hard to drag to exactly where you need it. So don't worry about that. Just pick a spot and place it because we can adjust our temporary dimensions. So again, my opening is going to be eight feet plus that one and a quarter. So eight foot, one and a quarter. And it will adjust that location. So I'm going to click modify and clear the command. I need to do a couple things before I add the door. I need to get rid of this mullion and you'll want to get rid of it before you place the door. So to delete it, you're going to have to unpin it first. Okay, so then just backspace key or delete key. You also need to have the door already loaded and I'm pretty sure I don't. If I look at families and doors, you'll notice that I only have a single flush door loaded. So I'm going to go to the insert tab and load a family. I don't generally do it from the doors um, tool because it wants to place a door and I can't place a curtain wall door that way. It will be in the doors folder, but make sure that you specify a curtain wall door. So I'll say open. 
And then once that's loaded, to place this, you'll notice if I go and I try to place this like a normal door, I won't see it on my list to choose from, nor can I place a standard door in a curtain wall. Now there is an exception to that. I'll come back to that later. So what I need to do is I need to hover towards where I'm going to place this door, so towards the opening. Press my tab key one at a time until I see the outline of the door highlight. And then again, don't move your mouse and left pick to select it. We want to unpin it. And then we will swap it out with that curtain wall door that we loaded. If I need to change the swing, you're going to want to go back to a floor plan view. And once the door is selected, you'll see those flip arrows.